Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. It's been a little while since we did one of these and the reason for that is because basically I've been having non-stop issues with CMU 1.8.0 so I just decided to take a break from using it because it just became too frustrating constantly trying to troubleshoot. For me personally it's crashing all the time so uh, I'm waiting for 1.8.1. .1. One thing I would love to hear from you people out there is how is your experience going with the current version of Simu? Anyway, we can still look at a few bits and bobs of information. I'd like to take this opportunity to shout out a few people on Discord. That's going to be uh, Dark Maste, Bruce Allrighty, uh, Zalfanos, and Ahat360. Now, in terms of Breath of the Wild, of course, this is still the game that most people really do care about, and this is the game that I personally uh, mostly play on Simu, and this is the one that's killing me with 1.8.0. It's still missing a few things. Now, if you don't know, on AMD cards, 1.8.0 uh, introduced this huge shadow across half the screen as if Link is being chased by a giant cloud. And it's extremely bizarre, but except the Simu dev, he did talk about it a little bit. When asked, is the lighting on AMD a priority? He simply said yes. When several days later he was asked about the same topic, his reply was that the current state is that we still don't know what is causing the bugs. So hopefully AMD users, your shadow issue will be fixed in 1.8.1. .1. As for a release date and some info about what 1.8.1 is going to be, we don't really know too much. All we know is that the developers have said you can expect 1.8.1 .1 to be mostly a bug fix release, more details coming soon. We don't know when it's coming out. Regardless of how 1.8.0 is treating me, I must say that the change in the shader cache system is significant and really quite cool. The speed that it compiles is so much faster than any version of Simu in the past. Unfortunately, it's just crashing a lot for me, specifically with Breath of the Wild. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to have to wait and see how that situation develops. One of the interesting and also surprising things for me about Simu and the Simu team is that they're always able to surprise you. Now, one of the things that came out a little while ago was a screenshot from one of the, one of the developers about Simu 1.8.1 and what it showed was a internet browser within Simu. Now, at the minute, everything is just pure speculation. What, what does it mean? What's its purpose? What's it going to be used for? Is it going to be a thing that we can use to play multiplayer games together? Who knows? But for now all we've got is a screenshot and I always think it's interesting to throw it out there and just see what the people think because of course speculation is always exciting. Nowadays and definitely into the near future Simu and Breath of the Wild are synonymous you know they are going to be connected for a long long time and what can we do this is just the reality and the popularity of Zelda. Now in terms of that pure authentic experience Simu isn't quite there yet visually. Yes you can complete Breath of the Wild 100% and you've been able to do that for a long long time now. However, visually it's still missing things like uh, fog, smoke and certain particle effects. And Bruce Allright he, uh, from the Discord, he asked XAP about what's going on with this and XAP gave his reply. He said it needs more accurate shader emulation which would also mean much higher RAM usage, GPU load and shader compile times. So it's more of a performance problem. Now to me people this is quite interesting because if adding these effects is going to have such a hit on performance does that potentially mean that we're never going to see them? Uh, I really don't know but at the minute it looks as though they are not in the pipeline. On a side note and one that some of you might find interesting one user asked Exap, I read somewhere that Simu is going open source after 1.8.0, is this true? Exap said, no it's just a rumour, we will go open source eventually but there is no fixed point in time where that will happen. So perhaps one day people we will see an open source Simu. Additionally, 1.8.0 introduced a memory scanner into Simu. One of the developers said, memory scanner is like a minimalist cheat engine built into Simu. It can search for values like hearts, arrow count etc and edit them. On a final note relating to Breath of the Wild and that quest for the unreachable 30 fps for those of you on a medium 
rig, it seems as though we've hit a bit of a CPU clock speed wall. As it stands today, if you want a fairly consistent 30 FPS on your system, you're going to need a minimum of 4 GHz. That seems to be the sweet spot for the people getting that quality performance. So if your processor cannot hit at least 4 GHz, then you're simply not going to be able to get the experience that you might be looking for. Now, if you can accept less, perhaps between 20 and 30, with fairly regular hiccups and crashes, at least in my experience with 1.8.0, then go for it. I mean, remember, I completed this game on stream with a i5 6400 and a GTX 750 Ti with, you know, plenty of RAM and all this. Just a short one today people, but be rest assured that I am looking to pump out the content regularly as soon as possible. Anyway people, well, thank you for the loyalty, thank you for the support, remember to stick around, I'm not going anywhere, do not worry, I am alive. I've been The Complaining Gamer, I will catch you next time, have a good day. Remember, leave your 1.8.0 experience down below, I really want to know.